Introducing the C3 equals V3 screw-in stabilizer, brought to you by the Key Dot Company. This is called the uh, Soulmate Pack. These are your housing mats, and the inner perforation contain um, a, one, a 0.1 millimeter stem mat. You've got stem mats in two different thicknesses. So along with the green ones, you'll have three thicknesses. The wire damping mats, the dampeners for the Holy Mod. Number zero Phillips head screwdriver. Flat tongue tweezers, pointy tip tweezers, small paintbrush, lubricant of choice, stabilizer grease. This is called the Holy Mod. This is the Poron. Use one or the other, Teflon or Poron. I'm gonna use Poron. Carefully remove a piece from the backing. If you hold it up long, long ways like this, this goes into the back of the stabilizer where there's one hole and there's a little piece tilts upward like a ramp. So once you get it in there in its position, kind of pat it down with your tweezers to flatten it out. I'm gonna use 205 grade zero on this one. So you start off by applying just the smallest amount. If you can see it, it's too much. Some people like to put a little bit in the inside of the housing as well. Again, less is more. This is your housing. This is a stabilizer housing. There's two sides to this thing. One side where the wire is retained and one side with the threaded insert. This is the stem. There's two sides to it. One side has a single hole. And one side has two holes. Insert the stem into the housing. The side with two holes faces the wire retention side. And repeat this process for as many of these things as you're gonna build. Once you've got them all ready to go, take your wire, hold the stabilizer and one together, put the wire into the bottom hole of the stem and clip it into place. Repeat this process on the other side and you've got an assembled stabilizer. That's one. We have three different things we're gonna use here. First off, these are your stabilizer housing mats. Inside is a stem housing mat, which is exactly the same as these two. You got 0.1 millimeter, 0.2 millimeter, 0.3 millimeter. You've also got a wire damping mat that goes down underneath your stab wire. I'll peel it back a little bit so I can grab the edge. Lift it. Now, if you're gonna use the middle piece, keep it intact, if not, and I'm just gonna push through to remove these other pieces that you don't need. And you put it down on the, on, the, on the PCB right where the housing's gonna go. So to repeat, bend, grab by the corner, lift, punch down. So if you wanna use that one, leave that piece intact. And on your PCB, you know where the stabilizers go because there's this four holes surrounding. So same kind of deal. Bend it back a little bit, start, start to peel. I'll put it right down. On. Just like that, the wire ones. Yeah. Put it right up to the edge of where your RGB light is. It's a good point of reference for where your, your wire is gonna go. For this one, I'm gonna use three. And that's it. All right, so next up, we're gonna take the, stable, the stabilizers that we assembled in the last, in the earlier part, and attach them to the PCB. The housing has two sides to it. One where there's, where there's a threaded insert, and one where the wire goes. On your PCBs, one hole is larger than the other hole. The larger of the two holes, is where this goes in. The smaller hole is where the threaded insert will go. Take the little hooks, put them into the larger hole, and just kind of roll it into place. Push down, and the threaded inserts will slide into the holes on the, on the PCB. So I put the screw on the end of my screwdriver, get a washer, lift the PCB, insert it into the hole, and it just needs to be snug. You don't have to go crazy. Base bar one, hooks go, insert them in a the large hole, I roll it down, and you'll feel it kind of, the threaded inserts will kind of snap into place and then you hand her a screw. These should move freely if you've got them installed correctly. This is an optional step. We sell a product called stabilizer grease. It's what's known as in the lubricant industry as a connector grease. When you get these, what you get is a syringe full of connector grease and a couple of blunt tip needles. Uh, they're two different sizes. One's 14 gauge, 
One's 16 gauge. The gray one's got a smaller hole. Green one's bigger. I'm using gray. I'm a pro. This is a connector grease. So what it does is it's used to fill voids. The best way to do this is to come in through the front, the side where the holes are. Get your tip and insert it into the hole where the wire lies. You'll want to fill that void with the grease. Go slowly and be sure not to use too much. Just a little tiny bit. You don't need too much. And optionally, if you like, you can also put a little bit right here where the wire sits in the, depending on your preferences, is just grab a little bit of your 205, brush a little bit in there where the wire rides in the hole. So once you got your stabilizer just put on, this is when you're gonna put your plate. Set the plate down, forward button. Before you start assembling and getting carried away, you wanna throw caps on your, your build. Make sure that your stabilizers are assembled properly. So here, this is a Duroc stabilizer stock, the way it comes from the factory. This is a V3 stab with all the damping mats that were included with it. So do you want the difference? And that's it. Now you know how to assemble and install a stabilizer. Have fun building and thanks for watching.